Hi everyone! What if I told you that a common dog dewormer might hold the key to fighting cancer? Sounds unbelievable, right? But for thousands of people including Joe Tippins, this idea has turned into a life-changing reality. Today, I'm going to break down the Joe Tippins protocol, explain how fenbendazole may work against cancer, and go over the latest research, real-life success stories, and practical guidance for those considering this approach. So, if you or a loved one is battling cancer, stay with me until the end of this video. It could change your life. Joe Tippins was an ordinary businessman diagnosed with small cell lung cancer in 2016. Doctors told him he had only three months to live as the cancer had spread throughout his body. Despite undergoing chemotherapy, the prognosis was grim. That's when Joe heard from a veterinarian friend about fenbendazole, a common dog dewormer that had shown some promising results in lab studies on cancer. With nothing left to lose, he decided to try it. And what happened next stunned even his doctors. By early 2017 his PET scan showed no evidence of cancer. Joe shared his incredible recovery online and his story quickly went viral. Since then, thousands of people worldwide have tried his protocol, reporting similar success stories. So, what exactly is the Joe Tippins protocol? Let's break it down. First, fenbendazole, 222 mg per day, taken 3 days on, 4 days off. Brand names include Panacor C and Safeguard. It's best taken with food containing fat, like coconut oil or fish oil. Next, vitamin E 800 IU per day. Tocotrienol rich vitamin E is preferred as it supports the immune system and helps prevent cancer cell survival. Then, curcumin 600 mg per day. Bioavailable versions like BCM95 or Long Vita are recommended. Curcumin is known for its anti-inflammatory properties and helps stop tumor growth. Finally, CBD oil 25 mg per day. Full-spectrum CBD oil, with or without THC, is used for its anti-inflammatory and immune-boosting effects. Optional additions include quercetin, berberine, melatonin, and omega-3. But how does fenbendazole actually work against cancer? Here are the four key ways scientists believe it helps. First, it disrupts microtubules, preventing cancer cells from dividing and spreading. Second, it triggers apoptosis, which is cancer cell self-destruction while leaving healthy cells unharmed. Third, it restricts glucose processing in cancer cells, cutting off their energy supply. And fourth, it may boost the immune system, helping it fight cancer more effectively. While no large-scale clinical trials on fenbendazole in humans exist yet, several animal and cell studies support its anti-cancer properties. A 2008 study found fenbendazole reduced tumor growth in mice with melanoma. A 2018 study in scientific reports showed benzimidazoles like fenbendazole had anti-cancer effects in lung cancer cells. Thousands of cancer patients have reported positive outcomes but more research is needed. Now let's address some common questions and safety concerns. How long should you take fenbendazole? Many patients continue for months or even indefinitely. Is fenbendazole safe? Generally it's well tolerated but some people experience mild nausea or diarrhea. Can it be used with chemo or radiation? Some patients do but always consult your doctor. And where can you buy fenbendazole? It's available from online retailers and pet stores under brand names like Panacur C and Safeguard. The Joe Tippins protocol has given hope to thousands facing cancer, but it's important to remember that it's not a miracle cure. While many have seen success, scientific research is still catching up. If you're considering this protocol, consult a healthcare provider and track your progress carefully. Have you or someone you know tried fenbendazole? Share your experiences in the comments below. Your story might help someone in need, and if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more content on holistic and alternative cancer therapies. Thanks for watching.